hold the bar, you touch your protein, and you leave it, the weight. Don't go all the way up, okay? Don't stretch your arms. Okay, let's go. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. And twelve. Good. Put the bus down. So today we're going to do three sets of everything. Next week we go to four sets, five sets, and six sets. Okay, after bench press, we're going to do dumbbell press flat. So hold the dumbbell like that, okay? And you push it and you close, close it. So you squeeze the muscle on top. Right, okay, like that. Okay. Keep going. Good. Good. Yeah. No fast. Just control it. If you go fast, you cannot, your mind cannot be there. Okay. Twelve. Good. After that, we're going to do flies. Fly. Flies, flat bench press. About the same thing than dumbbell press, but instead to push it, you, like you fly, like a bird. Keep your arms nearly slightly bent, but when it's bent, never move it. The angle has to be stay the same. Okay, you see what I mean? Okay. Okay, we start. Okay, good. Okay. You squeeze it. Put your mind there. Yeah. If your mind is into the muscle, you won't feel the pain. Okay? Keep going. Okay. Right. Okay. Good. Stop. Okay. Now, it's about the same thing. But we do that with a machine. We call that the, uh, crossover. Don't bend your body too much. Just slightly bend, so it works the low part of your chest. Okay, like that. Bend, slightly the same before. Slightly bend your arms and go down. Yeah. Okay. Good. You work all this part here, right? Keep going. Fine, good. Two more. One and two. Good. And this, you know, your your shares have three parts: the upper part, medium part, uh, me, me, middle part, and the lower part. If you do bench press flat, you work the whole thing. If you do it incline, on the incline bench, you work the upper part. And if you do decline, you work the low part. So what I do in my training, one day I train flat, the next workout, chest workout, we do incline, and the third one, I do decline. And the fourth one, we mix them together. That's the day you see how it progress together. Okay? So, good. Now, we're going to do um, dips. But when you do dips, you have to bend your body forward. If you stay too, too straight, you work more your triceps. So we're going to do dips on the dip machine, okay? Come on. Bend over, okay? Okay. 
then push the weight down. Okay, like that. Okay, good. You feel it there? Just under under your chest here. Okay, good. Okay. Okay. Keep going. Three more. One. Come on. Two. Three. Good. And now we're going to do one of my favorite exercises. It's pullover. It gives you the shape of your chest, the, the cage. But it gives you to a small waist because it's the only exercise who stress the abdominal part. If you do abdominal, you build the muscle. So you come bigger. When you do pullover, you stretch the muscle, so it gives you a nice shape and a small waist. We're going to do that twice, four times a week, with the chest workout and the back workout. So lay down on the bench, okay? Put your legs on the floor. Take the bar, the shoulders size, and go down. Don't bend your arms at all. Go. Don't go all the way up. Keep the tension on with the weight, okay? You feel your abs too, right? And your low back. Okay, keep going. Okay, good. Okay, good, okay. You feel it there? Your low part there? Good. Okay, two more. One. Okay. And don't forget, you stay only 30 seconds between sets. If not, you will lose the, the pump. Because every time you do 12, 12 reps, you put the blood there. But if you stay a long time between sets, you lose the pump. And you work so hard to make the blood coming there. Is why most of the people who train with heavy weight, they look fat because they need two or three minutes for recuperation. So each time they lose the fat, they lose the pump. They don't go. They put fat there because they don't spend too much calories. But when you go with moderate weight, your friend who is trained with heavy weight will leave more weight than you for one set. But in three minutes, you did 10 sets already. So who leave more weight is you. So you spend more calories, right? OK. So now, put your mind there. You finish with your weight, go sit down. Stay five minutes, 10 minutes, 15 minutes rest. Keep your blood there. You put it there. Don't jump to another, exercise, another body part. Because it takes you one hour to put the blood there. And if you jump to another side, you'll, what you do? Nothing. Because the blood nourishes the muscle. It brings all the nutrition to the muscle and nourishes the muscle. So if you jump, you go to, uh, directly to do legs, you lose the pump right away. Let the blood go away by itself. Okay? You have a better result. And then, when sit somewhere, read the magazine, what you want, and get ready for your next exercise. Okay? So, next one is quadriceps. It's the most powerful muscle in your body. Very powerful. Your legs is more than half of all the other muscles together. Okay? And you realize today we're going to do chest on quads, the muscle in front. Because the vein who brings the muscle are in front of your body. Okay? And quad, it will give you power. And it's good for your heart because you go down and go up. It builds your heart. That is the most powerful, most uh, painful 
is a site to do. But you like it, I 